Vers la gauche Super, merci. Dear friends, may God bless you on your journey. May he help you in all of your efforts and all of your work. May God bless you. May God bless you.
I know you're stoked and ready to go. Um, I guess you must be the first person from Normandy to go into space. So that makes you the first Norman to conquer space. Thank you. Are you all ready? Ready to go? Okay, may everything go as planned. One, two, three, four. Come forward, turn around. NASA Administrator Charles Bolden. Charlie, uh, a thunderous start to this flight for Whitson, Peskaya, and Novitsky. Your thoughts uh, on all of this that has come about over the past few weeks, two launches and a landing, and the whole theme of international cooperation at this point. I, I think this was a perfect evening. Uh, when we talk about the journey to Mars and the way we're bringing nations of the world together, uh, this is the epitome of that, as you have said. It shows how we, through cooperation, international cooperation, we're able to do things that sometimes people might think is uh, next to impossible to get done. So it's a great, great night, uh, a great victory for the International Space Station in getting uh, three more crew members up there, and we're ready. they're ready to go. They're pumped. This docking of this crew will occur on the 18th anniversary of the first element launch of the station. Yeah. How far has this complex come from fledgling modules to where it is today? Well, I think if you look back, and you and I were there, so uh, you were you were in the media at the time, but you will remember people said this couldn't be done. 
that it was too EVA intensive, uh, it was just too much work. And over the 10 years that it took us to complete station, I think it says what, what again, an international team that's set on a mission uh, can do when they when they focus on that mission and and when they get the kind of support that we've gotten through the years. This is the 16th year now uh, for people living and working off this planet. Uh, no matter what's going on down here, uh, the crews and the flight control teams manage to focus on their tasks and uh, get everything done. And we live in a totally different world when we're on the International Space Station. Kirk Shireman, ISS Program Manager. Kirk. Uh, Quite a start uh, to the expansion of the station crew, back to six people. Your thoughts on the significance of this launch and what has been accomplished uh, in support of station operations over the past four weeks? Uh, first of all, it's a beautiful launch tonight, very, very clear skies. We could see the, the vehicle all the way through into the third stage. It's a, one of the best I've ever seen, so very exciting. We're looking forward to having uh, Peggy, Toma, and uh, Oleg back up on the space station. Um, lots of work to be done. Uh, we'll be undocking a Cygnus here just in a few days and then a, a progress launch from the same uh, Cosmodrome here on December 1st. So lots of work uh, to be done. And the amazing thing is all the work that's been done just in the past uh, few days. We've had a landing, we've had uh, Shane uh, and his crew went up to ISS. So a tremendous number of vehicles coming going to the ISS and lots of work for these crew to do. How about the significance of the pace of the work and, and what is being accomplished up on station during this busy time. What's amazing to me is that in the midst of all these vehicles coming and going, uh, doing some major repairs on the space station. We just had an oxygen system uh, that was recovered by uh, Shane uh, on orbit. We're still doing a tremendous amount of research. This last crew averaged over 45 hours a week uh, of, uh, of research, and this crew has over 304 investigations to do, 89 of which have never been done on space station. So in the midst of vehicles coming and going, a tremendous amount of research still going on. This is the sixth astronaut of the class of 2009 now in space. What does it mean for you as a ESA director for human spaceflight? Well, the first thing is we've just witnessed an amazing night launch taking Toma Pesquet up towards the International Space Station. We'll dock very shortly. Um, but it's really important because it's the, the end of the first set of flights for this set of six astronauts, but the beginning of the next period of science and technology aboard the space station that will really bring knowledge and uh, skills back to planet Earth but also prepare us for going to beyond, going back into deep space, taking us on a journey towards the planet. And that combination of science and technology is what's so exciting about human space flight. With Thomas now in space and Paolo Nespoli, uh, also of ESA, in going to space in six months, that's the beginning of one year of presence of ESA on board the International Space Station. What does it mean for ESA and its ambitious exploration program? It's really important to develop all the skills and knowledge uh, to prepare us for our long-term vision of space exploration. We're going to stay in low Earth orbit doing science and technology, but the preparation that we need to go further out. So it's the skills we'll gain, it's the experience, and also the excitement I think we'll bring back to Europe.